If tech news is like coffee, then this show is like a caramel macchiato. I will not elaborate. That'd be such a latte thing to do. AMD has confirmed reports that its graphics tuning utility, Radeon Software, has been overclocking some users' Ryzen CPUs without asking permission. Rude! <laughs> if you're thinking that sound, <laughs> free performance with even less work on my end, sounds great. Well then, you probably should catch up on the whole consent thing ASAP. <laughs> but you should also be aware that while every Ryzen CPU supports overclocking, Actually doing it voids the CPU's warranty. What about the 5800 uh, X3E? That doesn't support overclocking. Well, I guess that one does. Not to mention potential system damage if your hardware doesn't have suitable cooling. Radeon software has had the ability to automatically overclock CPUs for over a year, but it was an opt-in feature. Thankfully, AMD has confirmed that the forced overclocking is due to a bug that will be fixed shortly, not an intentional change. They're not like Microsoft. Until the patch comes through though, you might want to disable any active GPU profiles in Radeon software unless you like living dangerously, like me. I overclock everything. Speculation about what effect Elon Musk may have on Twitter ran rampant when the world's richest man bought a 9.2% stake in the social platform on Monday. But we didn't have to wait long to see the first fruits of that decision on Tuesday. Elon was added to Twitter's board of directors and was welcomed in tweets by the company's CEO and its founder, Jack Dorsey. The day before, Musk had tweeted a poll asking if users wanted an edit button, to which the overwhelming answer was, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. And right after he was added as a board member, Twitter confirmed that their April Fool's Day tweet about working on an edit button wasn't actually a joke. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you fell for that? Come on. <laughs> Interestingly, the platform also rolled out a change causing deleted tweets embedded in news articles to disappear. Before, this was a way to preserve them. Maybe Elon had nothing to do with these changes, but what if he did? What's next? To keep your Twitter account, everyone must repost one cringe Reddit meme a week? You're required to participate. You must make your eyes laser eyes. <laughs> And Epic Games officially launched Unreal Engine 5 at their State of Unreal keynote yesterday and naturally showed off all sorts of fancy looking demos that made me sad when I looked up from my monitor and realized I wasn't actually piloting a spaceship. This time. The whole Earth is a spaceship. And I'm not piloting it. Very much not. That's Jeff Bezos. Epic pointed out some easier to use developer tools like the Reality Scan mobile app, which lets you bring real world objects into Unreal Engine by taking a bunch of photos of them with your phone. Can you scan yourself in? <gasps> Scientists still aren't sure. It's a grandfather paradox. Epic also confirmed that Square Enix and CD Projekt Red will be using Unreal Engine 5 for the next Tomb Raider and Witcher games instead of their own game engines. And, well, knowing Epic, that's probably due to being paid wads of cash and not because the engine is great. It could be great though. Them metahumans are looking nice, especially those Matrix ones. I like the leather and the 90s glasses. That's so can't wait to get in the metaverse and meet them all. Probably really nice. If Keanu's in the metaverse, he, <laughs> does he know he's in the metaverse? I've been waiting for you. <laughs> no, you're breathtaking. Now it's time for the quick bits brought to you by Vessi, maker of footwear known for being lightweight, easy to pack, comfortable, and most importantly, waterproof. I put mine in the washing machine, imagine that. <laughs> Vessi's everyday move shoes are perfect for those on the move, whether that's over regular old ground or more moist terrain. <laughs> They've got enhanced breathability, added support, a convenient pull tab, vegan suede lace gauges, extra midsole cushioning, and of course, the same waterproof Dymatec technology that's gonna make you wanna wear them every damn day. Even inside, depending on your household's indoor shoes policies. Americans, huh? Seinfeld, huh? So keep your feet dry and save 25 bucks with our offer code techlinked at vessi.com slash techlinked. Gotta keep the bits quick. They do not like waiting. Who's they? <laughs> Vivo, the music video hosting company that you see on YouTube all the time, was hacked yesterday by Spanish-speaking criminal group Los Bellalo Love, <laughs> who replaced videos from big name artists like Ariana Grande, Drake, Eminem, and more with a video of Paco Sanz, a Spanish man who lied about having terminal cancer. Vivo managed to regain control. Wait, is he behind this or is this just a meme? No, I think they're making fun of him. Okay. Vivo managed to regain control and restore the videos, but the reason for the hack is still unclear. I think Palau can mean something like bat bald? Yeah. And Paco is bald. Oh. So that's funny. Nice one. Maybe. We get this. <laughs> Another Eurocentric news, Germany's Central Office for Combating Cybercrime, AKA ZIT, Zit. 
and the country's federal police said they had seized the servers of the world's biggest cybercrime forum known as Hydra. You can't make this up, unless you already did in the 60s because you're Marvel. 80s? The dark web site had been operating since 2015 and had been involved in laundering around $5 billion of stolen funds. No doubt another Hydra head will grow back eventually, that's what they do, but for now, I think Zit is justified in feeling a little Herculean. Do you, do you get Herculean? Ubisoft? Ubisoft has announced it will release no more updates for 2017's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, months after announcing the title as the sole game in which the company's Quartz NFTs could be purchased and used. <laughs> Whoopsies. And those last forever. But don't worry, crypto gamers. Ubisoft says Quartz is still happening, we swear, and it'll be implemented in future games. Maybe even a new Ghost Recon. And maybe you can bring those NFTs you bought into that game. You might not have wasted your money. We got our fingers crossed for you. Hope maybe it'll turn out for it's the best. A couple more here. There we go. Another crypto and also Jack Dorsey news. He tweeted out an image of what many are assuming is the hardware crypto wallet being developed by his company, Block. Along with the photo, Jack simply wrote, Rocky. Probably because the wallet kind of looks like a rock. If you're interested though, you might want to hold your horses. As Block just confirmed that an ex-employee got away with downloading user data. For me, I'm gonna say, no thanks to Rocky. I'll take Bullwinkle instead. This is a stupid <laughs> like joke. Is it you should be blocked. Because it's a fun cartoon. <laughs> OpenAI announced the second iteration of its DAL-E text-to-image generation system, which creates startlingly coherent images based on text descriptions. So you can tell it to create an image of an astronaut riding a horse in space or doing literally anything, and DAL-E will do it in various artistic styles. The styles of Salvador Dali, even? Yes. Surrealist? Ah. The latest version allows you to replace individual elements of a scene so you can be even more aware of our limits as fleshy water bags. I can't do that. Try. Racers don't work that well. They, they always leave a mark. I can tell you to come back on Friday for more tech news. We'll have a much better analogy for non-coffee people then. Tech link is like... Tea. It recorded at 4 o'clock and then comes out a couple hours later.